Good morning from Boquete. Today, I want to talk to you about plumbing in Boquete. That's what we're going to be talking about in just a second. I want to thank Hotel Central Boquete for sponsoring these videos, helping relocators coming to Boquete, Panama. Well, we got a situation in Panama. When do you? that uh, there's, some pr there's some issues with plumbing. Now, like in the hotel, we have this fancy system, hot water all the time, it's incredible. The, uh, the thing though, in, in, like when you go to rent a house or buy a house or whatever, oh, here they come. They're, uh, that's a coffee farm over there. They grow, they grow, they grow little coffees right there. Yeah. And look at this beautiful farm. Okay, so we're talking about plumbing today. Now, when you go look at a place to, 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 to rent or to buy, you're probably going to be faced with one of two kind of systems. And they have these instant on type systems that work really good as long as you have constant pressure. But if you don't have constant pressure, because, well, some of the neighborhoods are not that great with uh, dependability of the water. It's getting better, we got a new water system here. But uh, the problem is that sometimes if they don't have like a pressure tank installed at the place, it can cause some real problems. And people, you know, from outside of Panama and from outside this area, they really want to have hot water in the morning. So it can be a bit of a, an issue for uh, foreigners here in Boquete when they get into a house and they got good hot water and then one day there's not enough pressure and then here they got this issue where there's no hot water for their shower in the morning, cold water or it's a trickle. So a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll, is they'll um, install like a pressure tank and a pump and a reservoir. And you know, we've got all that fancy equipment at the hotel, at Hotel Central Boquete. And actually we have a caldera system where it's like a hospital or one of these fancy hotels, you know, where they got um, a, uh, a big hot water tank, like a normal one, you know, these big tall ones, they're full of hot water all the time, the propane's going. And uh, we have a recirculating pump so that like in like two seconds, it's perfect hot water. And uh, that's, that's a, a, a good solution for a hotel, but at a home, they only really have two types of options for you. And that's where they're gonna give you what they call a suicide shower. And a suicide shower, it's a, look at this beautiful river here, isn't that cool? I love this spot right here. This is a Floripondia here. Beautiful smelling giant bell flowers here. I don't know if you can see the, the, the river right here where I live. Can you see the top of the volcano? Look right there, there's light. So we're talking about suicide showers and uh, these instant on showers uh, or hot water system. See a lot of Panama, they don't even have hot water. They're a little bit of afraid of extreme temperatures, super cold and super hot, so they'll oftentimes just shower in cold water. This is the normal thing. Most of the country's hotter than heck, except for here in Boquete where it's nice and chilly right now. Yeah, I'm in a t-shirt, you can see. It's a, you know, pants. I'm walking to work. It's a beautiful morning, everybody's waking up. And the suicide shower, I'll tell you a story. When I was a young man, I was just a teenager, my roommate, Gabriel Castro, was from Honduras, right? 
from the capital of Honduras in Central America. And uh, he was, hey, buen dia, como esta? <laughs> That's my buddy. He, uh, he took me down to his parents' house there in the capital of Honduras. And they had what they call a suicide shower, but it was older. And because they were short people, it was shorter. And uh, back then they didn't have an insulated wire on it. And it's like a, here, look at that. That's a nice view there too. Look at that. This here is the, uh, this is the Seventh Day Adventist church. But look at that, a beautiful view. Beautiful view, huh? Yeah. Up there at the top is the, the Search for Extraterrestrial Life uh, station, SETI. Yeah, you may have seen the Bocchetti SETI uh, went off last year. Thought they'd found uh, UFOs, aliens among us. But I don't know what happened. I didn't meet any of them here. So, um, we're talking about this suicide shower. Well, they never really explained it to me, but the part where, like, you get it to turn on. It's like a welder, like a, you know, a, a, a stick welder. And it uses just about as much electricity, these suicide showers. It's like a little plastic cylinder above your shower space. And it's got electric wires, except they didn't have insulating wires. And I'm a tall guy, I'm six foot two. And I was washing my hair. And they'd explained how to how to turn it on and regulate it. You do that you do that by turning on the water and regulating how much you how much volume. So you gotta adjust it like open or closed, more or less water to not have it scalding hot water, or like kind of too cold of water which is pretty good and it works okay. But what happened to me was when I was washing my hair, I, uh, <laughs> I stuck my hands up there accidentally and I got electrocuted. And I was buck naked and I come down like a, like a ton of bricks. And uh, I kind of blew out there, a little sliding plastic door on that tiny shower. And it kind of knocked me out. And when I was coming to here, my buddy's mama was in there trying to see what had happened because I guess I'd bellered a little bit or something. So uh, I know about those suicide showers. And uh, it's, it can kill you. I mean, it's not like a you know, suicidal shower, but it can cause you problems. So the, you got to watch out for those. Now they got them with grounds and, you know, covered wires. And we've got one of each of those type showers in my house. I've got one, my wife likes her suicide shower. We just got a new one. They tend to wear out really fast, but the little plastic cylinder with the wires going in and the, the cold water going in and the bottom, the, the hot water coming out, it's only about, you know, 20, 25 bucks. But you wanna have a certified electrician put it in. And some homes they don't have you know, like a certified electrician. So if you have one of those, I think you can, you can do that, that's okay. But get an electrician, a certified electrician down there to check it, to make sure you have a real ground so you don't get electrocuted. And that's why they call them suicide showers. The other option is to get like a little, now look at here. Isn't that the strangest thing? Some kind of a giant worm. Well, like a lot of my friends and then they get fed up because they're in a place where they don't have constant hot water. Hola. There, he looks. And uh They'll take out the suicide shower or this instant on 
water that's irregular if the pressure's irregular and they'll put in a little hot tank now you can get the the tanks of propane pretty cheap they're like three or four bucks for those little tanks wendy comes to and uh that's what a lot of people will do in then wendy comes to and uh so that's that's the story on the suicide showers and the instant on shower and why so many foreigners in the end here in Boquete will go get them a hot water tank because a hot water tank will work with any kind of pressure and it keeps hot water there all the time okay so that's the story about my suicide shower and nearly killed me when I was a teenager. Yeah. Oh, look here. It's like the Garden of Eden here. This right here are plantains. Uh -huh. They're just here by the side of the road, but they make this thing called patacones from that. They're patacones, they're like plantains that are sliced and fried and all. They're pretty good. All right, well, this is Tim Zelmer for Live Free University and Hotel Central Boquete. I hope you guys have a great day. I know I am. Hope to see you down here. Bye-bye.